Hey guys, this is Dr. Shivam signing in and your AIMS exam are on your head. So, karna kya? what to do? So, not to take tension, just go through this video of 2-3 minutes and uh, you are going to get at least 1-2 to two questions from this video. So, not to take tension, AIMS is any other exam, like any other exam, you need not to take much pressure, you will do it. So, here we are going to discuss on high demand some of the egg and cyst of the helminths and the parasites because they are they they are asking it repeatedly in your aims exam to identify these eggs and to to answer them based on these cyst and the eggs of parasites so this question if you see will not waste much more time now the microscopic picture of this stool examination is given now they are asking what is the mode of transmission of this parasite. This you can only answer if only you identify this egg. So I, I think it's a very common egg and you most of you people must have known it that it is the egg of Trichuris trichura. Now you should know ki how it is transmitted. So here the this, this worm is transmitted by fecal oral transmission. My main goal of this video will be to give you a picture memory. I will not go much detail because you all have studied it well. But right now what the time demands is you should have a picture memory of each of these eggs so that you don't make them wrong. Because these image based question needs only your picture memory. Okay, Then you can answer them. Here they have given a clinical scenario. A young woman presents with progressive dyspnea for 3 months. A cavitary lesion was seen in the right lower lobe of her lung. That means the parasite resides or the egg of the parasite resides in the lung and lobectomy was performed. After that, it was sent for histopathology. Now they are asking most likely cause of disease and the number of layers seen in the wall when they have given one picture. Now you should know what organism can reside in the lungs. So here if you see, you can uh, confuse between two options, that is the Echinococcus and the Parognemus. Now the answer here is Echinococcus, which surely has three layers and the Parognemus also uh, reside in the lungs, but how many layers is, uh, we didn't find any uh, thing, how many layers it has, but uh, here the, uh, the people they have given in 2015 names, it was Echinococcus with three layers. So you can go into detail of Echinococcus for your more knowledge. Now our third question is the following statement is true regarding the helminth whose egg is given below. Now if you see this egg belongs to Tinea solium. Now I will come in detail of each egg so that you don't face difficulty in identifying them. Now what they, what the, if you see the options, what they have asked is not the name but something in uh, detail of the organism so here the tinea solium both egg and the adult uh, the adult and the larval stage are seen in humans so this was the option which was right now if you see these so the, the first one is the tinea species the second is diphylobotrum latum and the third is H nana. The H nana has three pairs of spicules. You cannot uh, identify it here. I will give you a better diagram to see this. Now the following picture is of which organism? So it is Nicator americanus showing you eight structures inside. Now here you see if so this is the uh, egg of the Ascaris lumbricoids. The first one is fertilized egg. The sec with, with, with the capsule, the cortex. The second one is unfertilized egg, this one. This is trichura, trichura you have already seen. Now this is again that hookworm. That is encyclostomata duodenal. Now this one is, this one is just the, uh, the worm that is the, uh, this is uh, strongyloids stercolis. And this is entrovius vermicularis this this one now going into little much detail before going I'll uh, one more question is there that is the life cycle uh, this life cycle belongs to which organism 
Now uh, this CDC have given this picture they have basically taken it from the CDC website so please go through this CD web CDC website and see the parasites life cycle so that you don't face difficulty in identifying them in your main exam so this is fasciola hepatica the life cycle here is of fasciola hepatica going through the snail and uh, and the other the you can see here the cerci redi and sporocytes now one recent uh, research is there that regarding the inflammatory bowel disease so AIMS people are very fond of asking these research things so what they have done is they have found one anti OMPC antibody that has been identified as a potential serological marker for the diagnosis of IBD so it is equally important for your NEET PG as well as for your AIMS exam anti OMPC antibody for IBD now you see this is a very beautiful diagram by CDC so here you can identify the this S mansoni and S hematobium very clearly the S mansoni has a thorn inside of in means on the lateral aspects of his egg while the hematobium has over his head so many kaise yaad kiya that hematobium means something related to blood so if he has like this so you see this is more easy to prick and suck anyone's blood na, on the head so this is hematobium related to blood so S hematobium has a spine or thorn on his just apex where what you can see here while the mansoni has laterally japonicum is uh, something which is just looks like this non stain. H nana is here you can see the thick X shell with three pairs of hook on the oncospheres <clears throat> now trichuris trichura and nothing more important in this slide these are just uh, revision slides for you so this is that encyclostoma duodenal with segmented eggs atex hookworm roundworm that is ascaris lambricoids tapeworm tinea solium whipworm or the trichuris trichura pinworm or the pinworm or the introbius vermicularis now uh, going into little detail of everyone entamoeba histolytica and the giardia so if you see the ascaris so ascaris is important you need to differentiate it the fertilized from unfertilized egg so little detail although you can uh, differentiate them just by seeing so but little detail you should also know that the fertilized egg looks like this okay and it is bile stained that is why brownish in color round to oval surrounded by thick translucent cell with outer albuminous coat hota kya hai <coughs> unsegmented ovum rehta hai large conspicuous granules hote hain uske alawa ye common salt mein float karta hai so it looks like this but if the the cortex jo iska bahar ka jo outer albuminous coat hai agar wo absent hota hai to it is decorticated egg then it looks like this because the outer surface is not stained by bile it is decorticated egg but still it is fertilized the unfertilized egg of ascaris looks like this without any outer layer it has a thinner shell with irregular coating of al albumin what is characteristic here is the irregular uh, contour of this egg okay all of this is bile stained and contain a small atrophied ovum and it does not float on the saturated solution of common salt so i am telling these because they are asking some details about the ovums and eggs also so that's why you should know little detail to differentiate them <coughs> now the hookworm okay so as i was telling this hookworm so they <coughs> they have segmented ovum usually with four blastomer sometimes even eight and these float on saturated solution and these are non bile stained that's why they are colorless so this is important feature to differentiate these hookworm although they are very characteristic with segmented ovum now this is trichuris trichura you all know it is a barrel shaped projecting mucus plug at both the pole so i don't think ki you will make mistake with trichuris trichura any anyway now this is <coughs> tinea species with hooklet so characteristic feature is these are also bile stained so brownish in color has two membrane the outer is transparent and the inner on the embryo pore is <coughs> is means I mean, little 
little denser and the embryo contains six hook hooklets okay six so this 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 is the characteristic that it contains hexacanth embryo okay so it is they have six hooklets so this is the tinea now entrobius vermicularis something it looks like this now these are also non bile stained that's why colorless and transparent cell contains coiled tadpole like larva and these also floats in saturated salt solution so this was just a basic video to give you general idea about the ovum in the cyst and the eggs and i think uh, you won't make mistake now and <clears throat> uh, there is nothing to worry about aims just uh, just have full confidence and you will surely do it so this is dr shivam signing off have confidence and put your 100% effort thank you